All right, I was asked to break down some um, a movement I did, and I'm gonna do some piano chords today and some preacher chords. So I was doing this movement. I was doing talking music a couple days ago. I said. So the first chord I did was this chord. Let me angle the camera down just a little bit. All right, I did this chord. But you can do this movement without doing the, you can do that. So I did, in my left hand did F, A, B flat, and D. Then I went down and just dropped it to the C. Then I went to the E flat. G, A flat, and C, and drop the E flat. Then I went to the uh, D flat, F, F sharp, and B flat. And drop down to C. So in this hand, I did a C, B flat, F sharp, G. Right? Then I did a B flat. I went down the whole step and did the same thing. He's doing a whole step. Then went go down and half step. Then I did B flat, A flat, E F. Then I did a A flat, F sharp, D and E flat. So here's the whole movement. I forgot to tell you this chord right here. When you go to the the one in the four, you can do this. It's the F sharp, C, F, that go on to uh, F, E flat, E flat. So I went, you can do it without that movement, like I said. So in my right hand, I'm doing. So that chord right there is an F chord. F A C I'm going to A flat chord E flat A flat C and you doing this patching to the bass how it changes G C then I can go to the same thing I'm doing my left hand E flat chord E flat G B flat then I'm doing a D F B flat Then I'm doing in my right hand I'm doing a C sharp, F sharp, A sharp, and dropping the C sharp down to the C. And the chord you can do a just an A flat with the four in your bass. Alright, now we did that already. We're gonna go to some preacher chords. And yeah, we, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do C sharp. That's a good key. So when you're backing up a, a preacher or something, you want to like um sometimes before I said men and preachers have different styles, like men and organists have different styles. Yeah, preachers they like to hit hard. We have some that like they like to hold a note. Then you have some that go out of key. They go from here to here. So I'm just gonna do one way. I'm, well, I'm gonna show you some of the ways. So in C sharp, I'm gonna do a regular progression, and I'm gonna explain what I did. Alright, 
so I did, I started off with a one. I did this chord. Let me do it down here. So that was a F, B, and A. F, A flat, B flat, C sharp. The C sharp in my bass. Then I went to the three, and I did. That's a tritone. That's E flat, A, E flat, A. You can do E flat, G, A, and C sharp. Then I went up. Then that chord was a E, A flat, B flat, C sharp. Same thing in the right hand with an E on top. Then diminished E, G, B flat, D flat. E, G, B flat, D flat. Then I went to this chord, the five. And I did a F sharp, C, then an E chord, an e, chord e major chord, E, G sharp, B, and E on top. Then I went down, on the same time I'm holding that chord, I went down to D. Then... And... Another way of backing up a pastor, you have, well, we're backing up a pastor, you don't want to overpower the pastor. You want to be at the same, you want to be under like one level where he's at. So if he's calm, if he's just starting out, you don't want to, you don't want to do this. You don't want to do that, you want to ease in, ease in there. Eventually, you end up, you end up there. But um, another way of backing up the pastor, you have those that like to hold notes. Now, all I'm doing is that diminished chord I showed you, and I'm doing the one chord. Then I'm doing this chord right here, F sharp, A sharp, B, and E flat. You can do that in both hands and still hold a C sharp. You can do that right there. And one other thing is your settings when you're doing preacher chords. Um, some people like to use. I seen people use C one on vibrato over here. I don't. I don't use that. They don't give the, the full brightness. So he has sound C one. I'm gonna change it to C3. I like that. You hear it's faster? It's faster than C1. In his run, I did. I went down to C sharp, B, A flat, G, F sharp, E, C sharp. And you can even. The way some organs do runs, they go back, then they go down, like. They go back instead of going. Ah. So I'm like, I'm doing the F. You can do it like this. Too. Something like that. All right, so that's it for the organ right now. Let's go, I'm going to travel over to the keyboard now. Alright, All right, we're going to do some piano chords. All right, here we go. I'm just going to play some first. And then I'll explain in a minute. Let me get my pedal right quick. I'm going to play the same chords that I played on the organ, but I'm going to play them for the piano.
this plain old talk music. Let me change this this reverb because I know I hate reverb on this. All right, there we go. Um, first progression that I did it was same thing on the organ, but we're playing the organ. You got bass pedals, and you can substitute your left hand. You can play those same chords, but you're playing bass at the same time. But you can on the organ you can do you have bass pedals, but on the keyboard it's different. You want to substitute. You want to like chords and bass together when you're doing talk music. And and I did this. See on the organ, you can do that, but it sounds a bit on the piano. So that right, that progression was. You can do it like this if you want. I did in my left hand. I did this. A G, B, G, D, and F. I went down to half steps all the way. Just go down to half steps. Uh -oh. And right there was just going from a D, A, D to a C sharp, A flat, C sharp. Um, in this hand, I did the same thing I did in the move on the organ. With the, or with the um, keyboard and the organ is the way your hands move. Like when you're playing churchy stuff, it's, it's the way your hand moves in talk music. I found that out and on the organ too. So you can't be playing like this all the time. want to be smooth with it. Just relax. Don't rush it. Don't rush it. Just calm. See how my hands just going like this? C in my left hand and uh, A flat E in my right hand. Then I went down to A flat, left hand, E flat, and C. Then a B flat, F, and D flat. All I'm doing is breaking up the chord. Just, just one chord, I'm breaking it up, putting the middle note down here. And I'm doing movements from there. Here's the next one G, E flat, and B. Forever on the piano, you can't do that. So you have to be biz more. You have to be busier than you are on the organ dealing with talk music. Or you can do this, let the chord fade out. tricks and I do a lot of, my generation we do a lot of this stuff right here and you just all it is is a chord you going down to the flat three and the two back to the one so I'm doing the A flat chord A flat C E flat and you're going down to B B flat and and dealing with gospel music you gonna have to learn a lot of stuff by yourself. Nobody, no one is gonna show you everything. You have to learn how to do this stuff. Um, that's how I learned. Um, I had uh, in high school. 
I did. I began my gospel journey and playing, and it was hard at first when I was, when I started, cause I couldn't figure out what the top music was, what progression to do, what preacher chords were, and I was horrible at preacher chords at first. But YouTube helped out a lot, and people showing me things helped out. But I had to go home and really get into this stuff for myself. Because everybody, will, they're not going to show you everything they know. You have to go home and find your own style because you don't want to sound like one person, one specific organist or keyboardist. You want to find your own, uh, your own way of playing. And that's by practicing, doing it at home. So... it for this lesson but um i do some more lessons if you ask in the near future so that's it for now peace out